This video shows the operation of our automatic height control. General setup of test. The welding process is gas shielded flux core. We're welding with E71T1 cord welding wire. Our wire diameter is 0.045 inch or 1.2 millimeter. Our shielding gas is 75% argon and 25% carbon dioxide. Our welding travel speed is approximately 15 inches per minute or 382 millimeters per minute. Our wire feed speed is 275 inches per minute or 698 centimeters per minute. Our welding voltage is approximately 24 volts. Our weave width is approximately 0.25 inches or 6.35 millimeters. The plate thickness being used is 1 half inch, 13 millimeters. The plate length is approximately 23 inches, 584 millimeters. The actual weld length is approximately 20 inches, 508 millimeters. Case 1. Flat. Automatic height control is off. There is no change in the relative relationship of the plate surface to the rail. The two surfaces would be considered parallel. This video shows standard operation. The plate is flat. The automatic height control is off. The welding current readout is relatively consistent and is typical of gas shielded flux cord welding process. The average welding current readout is approximately 186 amps. Case 2. Downhill. Automatic height control is off. The surface of the weld slopes downward when compared to the rail. The rise measurement, the beginning and the end of the plate is elevated approximately one inch, 25 millimeters. In this video, the plate is sloped downhill and the automatic height control is off. Note that the electrode extension increases as the weld progresses. The welding current readout decreases in a consistent manner from the start of the weld to the end of the weld. At the beginning of the weld, the welding current readout is as high as a 195 amps. At the end of the weld, current readout is as low as 137 amps. Case 3, downhill, automatic height control is on. The surface for the weld slopes downward when compared to the rail. The rise at the beginning of the plate is elevated to approximately 1 inch, 25 millimeters. This video shows a weld with the plate sloped downhill with the automatic height control on. The electrode extension stays at a consistent length as the weld progresses. The current readout remains relatively steady throughout the weld. The average welding current readout is approximately 191 amps. Case 4, welding uphill. The finishing end of the plate is approximately 1 inch higher than the beginning. This video clip shows the plate sloped uphill. The automatic height control is on. The electrode extension stays at a consistent length as the weld progresses. Please notice that when the welding arc is initiated, the electrode extension is longer than the optimum position. Once the arc is established, the automatic height control adjusts the electrode extension downward so that the preset value is met. This occurs in 3 to 5 seconds. The current readout remains relatively steady throughout the remainder of the weld. The average welding current readout, once the initial adjustment is made, is approximately 191 amps. The welds shown reflect cases 1 through 4, with case 1 being at the top. Of primary interest is that the top weld made is in the flat position with no automatic height control, and the bottom two welds are made in sloping positions. Please notice the consistent bead width and the overall uniform appearance of welds 1, 3, and 4. The second bead from the top was made with a downward sloping work surface and reflects a narrowing of the bead which is consistent with reduction in the current due to the extending of the electrode extension. Also notice the narrow bead at the beginning of weld 4 and that the bead width is corrected within a very short distance from the beginning. For questions on the automatic height control or any of our other products, please visit our website www.bugo.com.